Hey you guys, it's your girl Creep. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be bringing you guys my part two. This is round two of the this or that video that I did, I guess about a month ago now. I did it with Fragrance Mist, and it seems that you guys really enjoyed that video. So today I'm going to come to you with another this fun is, one. This one is going to be for perfumes. So if you guys are interested, if you love that video, then I know you're going to enjoy this one. Definitely stay tuned. Hit the like button if you find that you enjoy the content and hit the subscribe. Join the fam. Your girl is trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year and I need your help to do so. further ado let's get into this video Alright, you guys so you already know how this goes I'm putting two perfumes up against one another and one absolutely has to go so if you had to choose which one would you keep now I won't be going too much into notes you guys I won't be going too much into descriptions because I swear to you we would be here all day and your girl is on her lunch break I don't have the time but y'all can definitely start the conversation down below definitely leave me a comment and let me know which one of these you would choose I had so much fun with that on the last video and I'm hoping for the same feedback on this one so y'all don't get too much in your feelings everybody has different tastes we're not going to agree on everything that's what makes this fun fragrance is subjective so yeah let's get into it first up we got battle of the warm hug <laughs> we got fresh cream warm cashmere and we got Sabrina Carpenter's sweet tooth palette <sighs> so between these two these are both nice fluffy cozy warm scents they're both with vanilla and both of them have some type of coconut maybe some musk in there y'all these are just the ultimate cozy scents I, I don't think you'll find anybody to say anything different between the two of these which one would i pick <sighs> let's see mm. yeah this is easy for me <laughs> it's crazy because I know I'm in the minority with this. I'm gonna go with Sweet Tooth. That is my choice. Y'all let me know down below which one you would pick, but I like Sweet Tooth better. I went through one of these. I like this, but for me, it's kind of hard to smell. I think I like a stronger scent, even though this is soft as well, but I don't know. I just lean more towards Sweet Tooth. Versace Crystal Noir, and then I have Jimmy Choo Fever. So between the two of these, which one would you guys pick? Mm, kind of already. Ah, I, I think I know what. Hold on, let me smell it. Cause I don't know. Okay. okay. Is it me or do these smell similar? They're not the same, but they're in the same family. There's something. I think the difference is that. Ooh, Jimmy Choo Fever. It has berries. Y'all, this 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 kind of hard. It's harder than I thought it was. I thought I knew. I thought I knew out the gate, y'all. <laughs> Mind you, I got to start by the one I said I would pick, but you know it's different when you in it. Mm. <sighs> okay, okay, all right. I have my choice. When it comes to Jimmy Choo Fever and Versace Crystal No War, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Versace Crystal No Ore. I like this better. It's funny because it's like, girl, then why you got this in the big one? Okay, I'm I'm just saying. Like, then maybe I need to get this one. I remember smelling this years ago and thinking that I loved it and I wanted to get it. I just never got around to it, but yeah, y'all. <laughs> I'm actually planning to gift this this season, but we'll get into that in another video. I got a couple more videos coming for y'all, but yeah. I definitely am going with this. So, yeah. So, we are going to do Battle of the Cherries. Sort of. <laughs> so, I have Ambery Cherry, which is my dossier dupe for Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I really enjoy this fragrance. Y'all already know if you've been watching my channel. I go crazy for it. I go up for it. So, I think it's very similar to Tom Ford, but we just going to go with this. We're going with dossier Ambery Cherry. That's what it is. And we're going to put it up against jimmy Choo's, <laughs> i want you forever and this i felt like damn this is a hard one like y'all know like jimmy Choo, i want you forever is is bae it really is i haven't been pulling for it but don't get it twisted it's a love i'm not gonna take up too much of y'all time <laughs> believe it or not i'm gonna go with this 
for Amber E. Cherry. We just gonna say as if I had time for a lost cherry. If I was picking between these two, I would go with that. You know, it's just something about it. And like I told y'all in a previous video, I'm kind of over the scent profile of this at this moment. But it's a love. Don't get it twisted. But I still, this this just stands alone by itself. I love this. But y'all let me know what y'all pick down below. I hope y'all having fun with this because I am. This is so funny. Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. And we're going to put it up against Kamra by Latafa. Ain't this some shit? I can't wait to hear what y'all gonna pick on this. I really ain't sprayed this in a minute, so let's see what this smelling. Ooh. Ooh, it's giving. It's giving. It is giving. Ooh, I can't wait for y'all to see my next video. But this... Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's hard because there was something initially in both of these that I did not like. I liked Kamra. It definitely gave me a Thanksgiving vibe. I've been said that. It's like holiday. It's like Thanksgiving in a jar, like apple pie. You feel me? And then this one over here is more like a caramel apple, but it's a little unisexy. It's a little resinous. It really comes out on the skin. At this moment, I want to say one, but I'm going to go with the other. But honestly, I really don't know. Um, Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all, I'm gonna go I spray them. Hold on. All right, I gotta choose. And I can't believe I'm choosing this one because me and this other one, we done gained a, a understanding and a relationship. And so I feel like I'm cheating, but you know what I'm saying? I don't do that. I'm, I'm gonna choose who I want and I'm gonna move on and roll off into the sunset with them. So it is what it is. <laughs> When it comes to the choice of holiday scents, the epitome of holiday, the Thanksgiving in a bottle, and it's the sexy over here, I'm going to go with Kamra by Latafa. Don't ask me why. I don't know. It's just what I picked. <laughs> next. You guys, this next one is probably going to be quick and easy. It's probably a no-brainer. I'm going battle of the coffee scents and i don't have this scent right now but i used to have it in a sample and i'm very familiar with the scent profile it will be listed here <laughs> this is carolina good girl going up against black opium the original y'all know i'm going with good girl all day you know i don't like that y'all don't like the other one i said what i said next up we have battle of the vanillas these are cult favorites, you guys. We got K. Ali's Vanilla Tumier coming in on the left corner. And then we have the Seven Virtues on the right. So which one y'all going with? You know, K. Ali's Vanilla 28 is the ultimate layering scent. It's literally your brown sugar vanilla. This is more of a florally type of vanilla to me. People call it a woody vanilla. It's a more mature vanilla. It's definitely upscale. It's elevated. So I'm going to give it that. For me, I'm really just getting accustomed to this scent. I'm not all the way familiar with it, but in the few times that I've worn it, I must say, taking a liking to it, I'm just still trying to get accustomed to it. But even in this short amount of time, I know I'm gonna love it. And it seems to be getting sweeter as it sits. So yeah, I like that. So when it comes to the two, which one would you pick? I'ma go with the OG. No, I'ma go with Vanilla Woods by the seven virtues that's the love kali vanilla 28 or let me not say love it's a strong like this wasn't always a love for me this pairs very well with the scent that i love which is sharosa 40 and for that reason it's kind of giving me more of like not cotton candy but it gives me like this maybe caramelly vanilla i love it so that's what i'm gonna go with. next up you guys i have two interesting scents this one is a coffee scent this is the only one by dolce and gabbana you guys have never seen me feature this on my channel and there's a reason for that and the next scent that i have is girl of now by ellie saab now i put these two together because both of these are very sweet fragrances if you don't like sweet you won't like either one of these um they're on the same level as far as the sweetness that said one i like more than the other and yeah between these two i would love to know which one you guys would pick for me it's ellie Saab girl now all day 
Y'all, if you've been watching my channel, you already know I can't stand this scent. I can't stand it. I plan to gift this scent probably this year. It will not be coming into 2024 with me. So yeah, absolutely will be. Now, where was I? <laughs> I had to finish my work day. So we back in. So this next one we have is going to be Ensemble Gold by Latafa Pride. And then we have Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I don't know if y'all said I can see that. Don't be shy by Killian. And it's actually empty. I went through it. I had this for some time. As you can see, the juice had gotten really, really dark. Yeah, I'm real familiar with the scent. And honestly, you can still smell it through this. Um, you know, Love Don't Be Shy has grown on me. Love Don't Be Shy was never a love for me. Honestly, I didn't really see the hype for it. If you're familiar with this channel, then you know I have a body oil that I swear by for Love Don't Be Shy, and that is by Wholesale Body Oils. By the way, y'all, my son is up now, so if you hear him in the background, yes, he's here. <laughs> so, but yeah, just please excuse hey, that. Hey, y'all, so... But between these two a lot of people feel like these are very very similar some people feel like this is a dupe for that honestly i beg to differ i feel as though this is definitely a dupe or inspired scent by oriana by parfums the marley whatever the case between the two which one would i pick i mean i think it goes without saying I'm going with Ensemble Gold. But truth be told, like I said, this has grown on me. But for the price, for what you're getting with this, and honestly, I love this bottle. I really, really do. But in general, I just love the scent. And it's very, very similar to me, very comparable. I have compared them. I've had a sample now of Oriana, and I love it. And I also have a body oil for that. So yeah this is just this is for me plus like i told y'all i love a raspberry scent and this has raspberry in it as well so yes y'all ensemble go and i highly recommend that so next yes, up we're gonna do i'm sorry did i already say that was battle of the marshmallow fluffy scents this is gonna be battle of the lemons we have devotion that came out this year that youtube went crazy for right so we got Devotion. And then we also have Lyra. I have a sample of Lyra that I've had for some time. And this actually does still have some in there. So, you know, I keep it for reference. And My whatnot. memory real quick, y'all. And honestly, I remember this. This is so strong and polarizing. I don't have any problem remembering what this smells like. All right. So, yeah, now that I refresh myself, which one are we going with? We going with... Lyra by Zerjov, or are we going with Devotion by Dolce & Gabbana? I'm going to go with Lyra. Y'all already know that. If you fans of my channel, you know I don't really vibe with this. It's okay, but it's not what I was expecting. Now, I don't have the scent here with me, but we're going to throw it in here just for good measure. We got Lyra up against Acro Bake. Baby, I'm going with Acro Bake all day if i had it here there would be no competition with any of these acro bake all day we move well, on. next up i have these scents that i like to believe are pretty similar we have yara by latafa and then we have mont blanc signature so these both of these have a cult following a lot of people really really enjoy mont blanc signature they feel as though it's a signature scent and rightfully so it's got a clementine in the opening, and it's just a really nice, soft, inoffensive vanilla fragrance. And then you have Yara. To me, Yara is more of a sweet, feminine, creamy, mm, tropical fragrance is what I'll say. It does give you a little bit of a vibe of Charosa 62, sort of, but it does have a similarity to Mont Blanc. I really do think if you like this, you'll probably like this. You probably like this better, but who knows? It depends on what you go for, but this definitely has that tropical flair, and that's what I like about it. It's, it's anybody's game. So between the two of these, between Yara and Mont Blanc Signature, what we going with? I'm gonna go with Yara. 
Yard so next me. up, we got an interesting combo that I'm sure nobody's going to see coming. So I want to go with Battle of the Strawberry Scent. So as you know, I'm not the biggest fan of strawberry. It's not my favorite, but I do have a couple in my collection. So I wanted to put these two together and they are completely different. So I can't wait to see what you guys' response is and which one you would choose. We got Burberry Her in this corner and then we got mom perry by ysl in the other so which one we going with y'all we got the beautiful strawberry creamy this is the real like strawberry milkshake type of flair the one that has that dna that's a little similar to baccarat It's definitely not a baccarat dupe i would never say that but it definitely has 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 something similar in there something that you detect i don't know if it's the mouse i'm not sure if it has moss in here y'all don't quote me because i don't i don't have the notes right here in front of me i just know there is something that gives that that band-aid-ish smell it's in here it's in here whatever it is i don't know i really truly don't hate this fragrance but that one thing if it was not there i would probably really like it but i still wear it i have it so i'm gonna wear it no but and then there's this and this is a fruit truly as youtube likes to put it it's a very fruity uh forward fragrance but it also has patchouli and it's not in the background y'all it's right there up front it's in your face it is very strong if you don't like patchouli you probably won't like this fragrance but it's a possibility if you don't like patchouli that you may like this fragrance because i'm not the biggest fan of patchouli either you guys and i still can enjoy this fragrance I really do feel like it helps it to last. This fragrance lasts so long on me. For me, the appreciation is in the dry down. It's just a beautiful scent. It really lasts. It's very feminine. Both of these are feminine, but I think in different ways. Enough of that. Which one we going with? Y'all going with Burberry Her. This is the EDP. Or y'all going with YSL Montpellier EDP. What we got? Y'all know I'm going with Montpellier. Come on. You know this. Next up, you guys, you know I have two fragrances. One that I no longer have. I used to have it in this, which is just a travel size. This is going to be Battle of the Roses. So I have one of the scents, but I don't have the other. But I'm very familiar with how that other one smells. Y'all just going to have to trust me that I'm being honest with you. Because why would I lie? And of course, I can't find it, but it's all good. So the two fragrances that I have, I'm just going to put up pictures for you guys. We're going to have the Lena here in the right corner. And then we're going to have Roses Vani over here on the left hand corner. And you guys, these are both two very pretty scents. I'm just going to give y'all my verdict on this, because if I tell you what I think about them beforehand, you're going to know which one I'm going to pick. I'm immediately going with Roses Vani. Uh, Roses Vani was a very pretty striking rose fragrance that I did not expect to like just not the biggest fan of rose but I truly gravitated towards that fragrance and I really love it and I am looking to get that sometime in the next year so that'll be my quintessential rose fragrance honestly you guys when it comes to Delina you know there was a lot of hype about the fragrance when I got into the fragrance community and I'm not going to say that it wasn't warranted but it's just not my cup of tea a lot of people like like the lychee and rhubarb for me i don't know if i like lychee because that's not the first fragrance that i have that has a similar note that i don't care for and then also there's a rhubarb note in there and i don't know about everybody else but the rhubarb really stands out to me and i don't like it it really takes over and overshadows the prettiness of the fragrance for me this is my opinion okay so for me it's rosa vanilla y'all but let me know what you'll pick in the comments. Guys, so next up, we have Battle of the Raspberry Scents. So we got Ralph Lauren's Beyond Romance in the left-hand corner. And then we have Daisy Love, Ooh So Sweet, over here on the right. And so, if you've been watching my channel, y'all know I love these. I love both of these. I really, really do. So, you know, let me know which one you think I'm going to pick. I honestly don't know, you guys. Let me think on it. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, we ain't got a lot of time. I don't want to make this video super long. <laughs> so, y'all, straight out the dome, I'm just going to run it. But truth be told, I don't want to pick between these scents. I love them. I love them both. They will definitely both remain in my collection. This one is almost gone. And when it's gone, I'll get another one next year. So, believe you me, both of them are very necessary, sis, for me. 
That said, if I had to choose, I'm going to go with Daisy Love, Ooh So Sweet. The reason that I'm going with this one, I love how light and airy this is. It's so inoffensive. And this is something I could literally wear every day and not get tired of. So that's why I lean more towards this. Whereas, even though I love Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance, baby, this is sweet. This is not for the faint of heart. Like, and this definitely isn't an everyday scent. Yeah, I love this. I definitely love to pair it. Most times I'm going to pair it because I don't see me wearing this by itself. I mean, I, I would rather have this if I had to choose. But I don't have to. But for this video, I'm going to choose. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I'm going to go with Daisy Love Uso. All right, child. So this time we're going to do Battle of the Celebrities. And then in the right-hand corner, we have Fancy by Jessica Simpson. And then over here, we got Multimillionaire Paris Hilton with the Gold Rush. So which one we gonna pick now you know both of these have a cult following you like one or the other or you like them both i truly don't know which one i'm gonna pick so i'm just gonna give myself a snip and we just gonna wing it can't smell it mm, okay mm. <laughs> y'all and i don't know if y'all could tell but the dent is denting on both of them this is almost gone though you know? Let me see again. Right now, I'm feeling like Paris Hilton Gold Rush. But I'm going to go with Fancy because I know. Look at the dent, y'all. Versus this bottle. This is 3.4 ounce. This is too. But still, look at the bottle. I've used more of this. I'm going to say I'm tired of this scent right now. Once upon a time, I truly did love it and I wore it out. And again, this is one of those scents too that kind of reminded me of Good Girl. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, that's why I'm sick of it. But this is still so good. It really is. I really, I really wanted to choose this. So yeah, y'all, I still recommend both of these. But if I had to choose, I'm going to go with fancy next up i got two in the same family y'all we got sweet like candy by ariana grande and we got ari by ariana grande which one would you choose between the two i'm not gonna hold you because i don't ran my mouth too long <laughs> i'm gonna go with ari this is just way more juvenile like literally i could get this to one of my little cousins but i'm gonna keep it because i bought it and you know, you can always use it to layer with something. Just a real pretty soft scent. But truth be told, I could have passed on this. But I love my Ari. I put quite the dent in this. So, we're going to go with Ari. So, I have an interesting one. We're going to move on over. We're going to switch gears. And we're going to get into a battle of the fresh scents, right? So, I have one set that I don't have the pieces for. So, the first scent is going to be Chanel number 5 over here in the left-hand corner. And then we're going to put gucci guilty over here which i do have so we'll put that over here keep in mind chanel number five i'll put a picture up here now what i'm gonna say is we're gonna do chanel number five allow i think that's what it is or low i'm not sure how it's pronounced but we're gonna put that over here and i want you guys to tell me which one of these would y'all pick it took me a long time to want gucci guilty because i never felt like this was like a soft pretty scent i always felt like this was super strong and dated i always felt like that and like when it was in that other bottle i really did and i know it had a coat following i remember loving the men's scent of it but the women's i was like oh this is like not oh like Ugh, it stinks it was just way too mature for me I smell it today in this and it's like okay and it's not now that i see i have the edt version so there's that which is fine, but nonetheless, I said Chanel number five low. So hopefully, you know, that'll tone it down for you guys as well. Between the two of them, which one would you pick? Personally, I'm going to go with Chanel number five. I'm going to say that because number one, I really do enjoy that scent. And I think it's like a play on baby powder and freshness. And I love a good fresh scent. This also gives me a fresh scent, to be honest. But I don't reach for it, you guys. 
and that's why I picked the way I did used to have Chanel number no. five in a travel I went through it and then I also had it in a dossier dupe I just don't have it no more you guys I don't know what happened to it I'm very upset because it's not like I used it I sprayed it out a few times but I had not like went through it so I'm highly upset about it. say battle of the citrus scents right this is still freshies and I believe if I'm not mistaken both of these have a lemon in the opening right so yeah i'm super excited to see what you guys are gonna say about these two i just wanted to throw some freshies in because y'all know i'm a freshie lover on this channel so yeah first one up we're gonna go with is aqua di joya and i'm actually going to do instead of the original i was going to do dolce and gabbana you guys but i'm not going to do that i'm going to do a dupe for that because i just feel like that's better and that's what i lean more towards so here we go so you guys between these two and if you feel like it, if you've never had this then put it in the place of dolce and gabbana um light blue just the original or the intense whichever one doesn't matter between these two which one would you guys pick now personally y'all know if you've been watching my channel which some of you haven't and it's fine welcome to my newbies i love this i absolutely love this i know this has more of like an orange opening versus the lemon but it definitely has a citrus opening and then i think it has grapefruit as well love this love this and it's definitely very reminiscent of dolce and cabana light blue but i think this is a little sweeter and then you have aqua di joya which is a sweet freshie um i enjoy this scent. i haven't got a lot of wear out of it if i'm being completely honest but it's still very beautiful happy i have it in my collection which one would you guys choose out of these I'm going with Love is Love by Moschino. Moschino, Moschino, Moschino. Okay, so I have one more on the freshy side and I'm gonna do two dupes. So these are from the house of Chanel or at least that's what they're inspired by. So I have one over here. This is gonna be Floral Grapefruit by Dossier. If you guys don't know, this is a dupe for Chanel Otandra. Mind you, I had that scent before. I did return it because I felt like I wasn't getting enough for the little bitty bottle that I got. And I spent over $100 for it. So I went ahead and sent it back and got this for like 30 ish Sound like a good deal to me. It was honestly very spot on. Yeah, very much so. And I truly loved this scent. Like, I really did. And so I'm not mad at it. And then I'm going to put it up against this Pure Eau Fraiche. This is a Karen Low scent that you can find at like TJ Maxx, you guys. And I think I got this for less than 30 bucks. Oh, yeah. I got this for less than 20 $16.99. And this is like a really close dupe to Chanel Eau Fraiche, which is in the green bottle. So we're going to put the picture up here just so you guys understand where I'm coming from. So just in case you have those real scents, you can let me know which one you would choose. I really don't know, y'all. So I'm just going to wing it and see let's see okay recently i went to macy's to smell a scent at the counter and a lady brought us a test strip up to me and said smell this this is a new fragrance from chanel so i smell it. i'm like oh my god what is that she was like it's this and she took me over there and it was definitely chanel eau fraiche in the green bottle i was like i thought this was already out you know she was like they had an edt version they came out with an edp Y'all, I love that. So if we putting this up against the EDP of Eau Fraiche, baby, that I love. And that will be the winner. Honestly, I really love these both. But yeah, I'm going to say that. I'm going to choose that, which is shocking to me. I know I'll be in the minority, I'm pretty sure. But we'll see which one would you guys choose. Y'all, we are down to our last few. And I'm very interested to see you guys' thoughts on these. So stay tuned to put yourself in the mind of springtime and i know it's hard to do because we're in the winter time right now but just put yourself in the mind and think back to those beautiful sandy beaches and beautiful sunsets and just summertime and vacation just get all in your bag and you think about what you was wearing this summer i know y'all was wearing one of these i know either one of them or both of them y'all so we got soul by sol de janeiro over here that is the perfume version of Sharosa 62 the original brazilian crush we have that over here in the left hand corner and then we have this one that is 
alien goddess i believe this was a this was a new release this year so alien goddess over here in the right hand corner and i believe people love this scent right as did i as did i oh i just wanted to remind myself that smells so good and yeah I, I know what this smell like yeah i know what this smell like i would love to know which one of these y'all would pick in a versus battle what y'all going with um, I'm gonna have to go with so the only reason I'm really going with this is because in essence I love this scent. Absolutely love this scent. Now, truth be told, this don't have the best lasting power, like at all. Whereas this does, this will last on you for sure. If it was left up to the longevity and performance, uh, this will win hands down. But I gotta be honest and truthful, this scent. I mean, it's what made me fall in love with Sharosa anything in the first place. All of the Sol de Janeiro scents stemmed from this, the original. And so I got to give it to him. So now we are down to the very last one, you guys. Very last verses. And I am so excited. So this one is perfect for this season because this is the season that you will wear both of these scents. So I'm not going to hold y'all no more. Here we go. Mongrelan by Guerlain and I'm gonna put it up here because y'all I don't have this fragrance Burberry Goddess which one y'all think now I'm gonna tell y'all I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve my thoughts for after the pick because nobody really knows how I feel about this fragrance just because I don't have it doesn't mean I don't want it so I just want to know y'all let me know in the comments which one you think I'm gonna pick okay so now that that's over with yeah, I'm going to go with Monger line all day. You know, the Burberry Goddess, I don't have nothing against it. It just didn't speak to me. It's a very soft scent that I recall. I smelled it in the mall. I smelled it multiple times, actually. Every time I went to a counter where it was, I, I definitely took a sniff. And it just doesn't speak to me. It, to me, there was nothing special about it. And I really was searching for it since it had all that vanilla. But I think it's just a pretty scent. It's pretty basic to me. Nothing wrong with basic, y'all. Don't take offense. All I'm saying is I didn't feel like I needed it, and so I didn't. That said, this is going to move on into the next round, and we're going to put her on up against YSL Libre Le Parfum. Now, which one we going with? How well my subscribers know me? Y'all know all day I'm going with YSL Libre Le Parfum. Baby, can't it can't nothing touch this for me? For me? For you? Maybe so. For me? No. Nothing can touch this. I told y'all. For me, I'm gonna be honest. As much as I like this scent profile, this ain't a love for me. This it is funny because it beat out Burberry Goddess because I can definitely say to me this is more unique. Like this has more depth to me than Burberry Goddess does. But I always say this to me. It's more of a kept woman type of scent. To me, this is the type of woman that you aspire to be someday. Mongrel is very sophisticated. She's very much giving wife. She's very much giving sit down dinner with her husband. And there's nothing wrong with that. Beautiful, classy scent. You can't go wrong with it. But to me, this smells like a woman of a certain age. And when I say a certain age, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean 35 and up. It could be a little lower, could be a little higher, whatever the case. But that's just my thoughts and my opinion. Now, when we get on over here to YSL Leap, and yes, I'm biased. <laughs> to me, YSL Leap is a boss. She is on her, sh she's single, not even really trying to mingle. She just doing her thing. Like she out here in the world, really making a way for herself. She not looking for nobody to make a way for her. She not looking for a husband. He looking for her and she kind of he kind of dusting him off because we ain't got time for that. We on a mission. We trying to do something. We trying to get somewhere and we going. That's what I get from YSL Lee. Like any of this line, I get boss chick vibes. I'm This is whatever I want to do. If I want to step out, I can. I ain't got to answer to nobody. I ain't got to make sure hubby cool with it. No. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. I'm going to say this fragrance would be for 
late 20s 30 and up i really don't feel like this should be for the 20s but i'm gonna be honest every time i wear leap i get compliments any of them i get compliments and it mostly be from these young girls i swear i swear so i ain't gonna take it away from y'all if y'all into this but this is most definitely giving sophistication this particular one because this one is not like the original as to where it adds a little bit of sweetness it definitely gives some flirtiness it's definitely giving some vibes you know just a little bit but we still not entertaining the mess we still don't have time you really still gonna have to do some things to get our attention because it ain't coming easy with her it ain't coming easy with neither one of these don't get it twisted Still, it's all fun games y'all y'all know this is a love for me absolutely love it i have my girl line so i don't hate it it's not a love though i got it because i found it at a good price and i was just like i mean what the hell maybe i come around to it maybe i won't and maybe i'll end up gifting it to one of you who knows <laughs> but nonetheless you guys i enjoyed doing this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching i hope you participated please leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of any of these scents which ones you would pick i don't discriminate i don't care you can pick whatever you want to fragrance is subjective feel how you want to feel wear what you want to wear be unapologetically you visual can't nobody do you like you can <laughs> you guys i will see you in the next video hope you guys enjoy it take care bye